Hello and welcome. I just wanted to go through this real quick tutorial because if you're like me, you've been trying for years to figure out um, how to do some very, very basic UV map texturing. Um, I'll be honest with you, I've been modeling for 20 years and I still don't really get all this. And most of the videos that you go into, they spend an hour and a half on splitting seams and doing all kinds of things like this. But if you're like me and you uh, model a lot with uh, simple, fairly simple primitives or modifications of them, then this will walk you through it really fast, okay? So here is my object that I've already created. Um, it's just a simple cylinder that I've extruded a few faces on. I mean, I'm not going to walk through how to do this. This is basic stuff here. <clears throat> and as you can see, I've already created one material and assigned it to the object. All right, so let's just say you've got that done, and now you want to get this material off of here and into Photoshop so that you can work with it. So we're going to go to Layout. We're going to go to BP, which is Body Paint UV Edit. And then what we're going to do, since we have our object selected, is we are going to go to the wizard right here. It says Paint Setup Wizard. There we go, just our one object selected. If we had multiple objects and we only wanted one object, then we would deselect the others. Next. Oh, this is fine. Uh, this will start off with 0 and I think 10, 24. I put them both at 20, 48 because I like a bigger um, area to work with in Photoshop, but that's up to you. Uh, finish. There we go. Close. Alright, so the rest of this is pretty simple and straightforward. Um, what we're going to look at here is layers. Just like in Photoshop, you've got layers. You've got a background layer here. Well, we're going to right click, do a new layer above it. Okay. Then we're going to grab our UV polygon tool up here. And as you can see, if you use the select tool with it, uh, you can see what's, uh, what you're working on at any given time. Uh, you can refer back to this once you're in Photoshop to know exactly what you're painting and where it's going to end up at, okay? So, we're going to go to this little window here, oh, and uh, we're just going to do Control A to select all of our polygons. Then we're going to do our outline, so we need to make sure that we have a brush selected. Okay, and colors. It's got black in it. If it doesn't, go ahead and put you a color. I like black is fine. Um, okay, then all we're going to do now is go up to the layer menu at the top and we are going to do, oh, they came, they got unselected, so polygon tool, there we go. Alright, layer. Outline polygons. And it's going to use your brush size and your color to make this outline. Then all you have to do is file, save texture as, and I want to do uh, a PSD file, which is a Photoshop file, because I'm going to work directly in Photoshop. And then what it will allow you to do is simply export that as a PSD, which you can then go open up in Photoshop. Here it is, Texture PSD. And there you go. You've got your background layer, which is what you're going to actually paint on. And you've got your grid layer right here. So, you know, obviously, if you know Photoshop, you can turn down the opacity or whatnot so that you can see what you're working on, or you can turn them off and on. And again, you can refer back to here if you need to uh, with your Polygon Select tool to try to figure out exactly what it is you're working on at any given time. So if I'm working on this right here, I know that it's this one here, which means that I need to be painting here. So when you're done, file, save, um, go into your materials, right click your, uh, open your material. It's open here. Uh, and then your texture, all you would do is hit uh, reload image 
and that will reload the texture in and it will have all your modifications from Photoshop. So I hope I got to the point, did this nice and quick because I know uh, other people's videos I've tried to watch are just way too long. So hope this was quick and efficient and it helps you out. Thanks.